Hello guys, you're welcome again. Yes, today I have a lot of gist for you. And the guys, uh, right now is about the uh, Olowo of Iwo, the ex-wife uh, by name Chanel Chin, who is a Canadian, and uh, she uh, openly exposed him. I'm going to show you guys where she said it herself. Yes, she did. She said it herself. Now, guys, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit the red subscribe button on the notification bell and then comment your opinion on what you feel about uh, the video which you're going to watch uh, the information. Now, guys, uh, uh, it happened that uh, recently uh, the ex-wife uh, uh, of the Olua of the world by name Chanel Chin, who is a Canadian, as I said, uh, explained everything that happened, how she met uh, the king, and how uh, she got married to him. So I uh, love you guys. After watching uh, this, you put your comment on the comment section. So let's check this out. Oh, I lie. I came to Nigeria in 2015 with some of my friends. Um, there was the um, my next friend. She's Jamaican. Two of my friends are Yerbas. One of my friend is from Ilegbo in um, in Iwo. You know, so we all came to Nigeria just for me. I came to Nigeria because I wanted to see Africa for the first time. I was born and raised in Canada, you know, um, as an African-American in the diaspora. You want to who doesn't want to come back to Africa, their, their motherland. Hmm. And that's what I did. I came back to Africa to be with my people. And look what happened to me. This is my story. This is what happened to me. Look at what happened to me. I was just a foreigner that came to Nigeria on vacation. I didn't know anybody named Oluo. I don't know anything about what's called kingship. I don't know anything. I just came to Nigeria with my friends just to see Africa, to come back and see my people, be with my black people. Mm. And, you know, one of my friends is from Ilegbo which is an L uh, is a, a town within Iwo. And my friend told me that, uh, you know, there's a king, he's from Toronto, he's doing coronation and, you know, they are going. And I was like, wow, you know, I want, I want to go to Oshun State. I want to see what Oshun State's all about. And my friends that were from Nigeria, that were Yerbas, they were like, no, you don't want to go to no, she'll stay, though, because we were in Legos. We were in Legos having fun. It was dirty December. We were having fun. <laughs> and my friends are like, no, you don't want to go to that place. It's the bush. It's the village. You don't want to. <laughs> but I wanted to go, Maureen. I wanted to go. I wanted to see everything Africa had to offer in terms of agriculture, in terms of culture, in terms of tradition, in terms of religion, in terms of everything. It was my first time coming to Africa. I didn't just want to stay in Lagos, in Lekki. I wanted to see everything. So we now went to Osho State for the coronation. It was a day before the coronation, coronation weekend. We went, um, we met Oluo two days before his coronation. Um, I introduced myself to him. Like he's from Toronto. I'm from Toronto. Boom. The next. Yes. So as I was saying, I met him two days before his coronation. There was, um, and, and then I'm, and then on, I went to his coronation just as, you know, um, tourists. And then he had a, I met him at the burial party of, of one Legos monarch's wife. Um, I, see, I believe the father passed on. And I was at that burial party where I met him again. And then they had an, another party for him in Ikeja that I was invited to um, by one Alaji that is also from Iwo. And this Alaji was dating my friend at the time. <laughs> okay. So um, my friend is also Jamaican. So he invited us to this party. And when I arrived at this party, it was a popular Lagos monarch that actually introduced me again to, I to Oluo again for like, you know, this is going to be our fourth time meeting now. But you know, uh, and this monarch was like, oh, he's a king, he's from Toronto, and he doesn't have a wife, and ba 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 and it's a big glory to be your glory, and we'll all be beside you, ba 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 And, um, you know, it was a party, we were all drinking, having fun, I had a little bit too much to drink, <laughs> so I went, uh, I went upstairs to one of the rooms, and I, I laid down and fell asleep. And like around three o'clock in the morning, I woke up to find Oluo on top of me. 
with wow. my clothes. My clothes were removed. I didn't have any clothes on my body. And Olua was on top of me. And I started going crazy because I'm just a foreigner. I don't know what is going on. I said, hey, excuse me. No, 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 no. <laughs> and he said, oh. He said, no, I'm a king. And in our culture, you don't say no to a king. And then when a king extend leg to you, you must agree. And you're going to be my wife. And I'm going to marry you. And don't worry, you're going to have a good life. And, blah, 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 blah. and, you know, it's very embarrassing, you know. And the reason I'm saying this is because Oluo has gone all around. North, south, east, west. He's telling people that I was a prostitute from Toronto. Mm. That he didn't know me. That he slept with me on the first night. Tell the people the truth. Tell the people that you raped me. Tell the people what happened the first night you met me. Jesus I had too much to drink. And I laid down in one of the rooms in the house. I woke up 3 o'clock in the morning. My clothes were removed. And Oluo was on top of me. Yes. Hey, yeah. That is what happened. And one month later, one I'm this was February 2nd, 2016. I will never forget this day because this is the day this is the day that my life changed drastically. The day I met Oluo, February 2nd, 2016. Oh one month later, I missed my menses and I was pregnant. So one month after I met Oluo, I was pregnant. If you people do the math, his coronation was January 16th. I met him February 2nd. My baby is born November 16, 2016. Jesus. November from February is nine months. That's when I met Oluo, February 2nd. Oh, God. He raped me. And the next day, because he already oh, slept God. with me. Listen to me, Maureen. I'm not going to say I was a virgin. I was not a virgin. Oh. But because he slept with me the first night, he, he raped me. The next day, he said, okay, we're going to Iwo, we're going to the palace, and I will make you queen. So I went with him, he told me I should pack all my load, and he's bringing me to Iwo to do marriage, and we're moving into a palace, and blah, blah, blah. Maureen, the very next day, when we got to Iwo, there was no palace. The palace didn't even have a roof. There was no palace. We were staying in one barrister Atanda. Barrister Atanda, he's also based in UK. He can attest to this. We were staying in Barrister Atanda's home. Barista. That is where we stayed. There was no palace. There was no royal, uh, I will make you my olori. There was nothing. There was even a family that came that were, they were so upset because Oluo disvirgined one girl from that town and promised that family marriage. So when that family got to find out one Canadian was, in the, was with this king, that is when he went to the news because he promised a lot of women. He started sleeping around with a lot of women from Lagos to Iwo to Oshogbo to Ibadan. He was sleeping with a lot of women and promising them Olori. So when people started to find out, oh, there's one Jamaican woman living with him and blah, 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 blah. That is when he went to city people and put this fake news that, oh, his wife from Canada, he married me in Canada, and that I came to Nigeria to uh, claim my rightful spot, which was a lie. Oh, my God. It was a lie. So what happened was, even before I stepped foot into that palace, Maureen, I already had a gang of enemies. Oh, my God. You understand? The relationship was already um, built on a, 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 a false foundation you understand because he had promised a lot of women marry i don't know that i don't know what was going on i, I don't speak here but i don't know what was going on oh my God. you understand so then there was a lot of backlash about me on the internet a lot of women started writing bad things about me on the internet i've never been to nigeria a day in my life but a lot of nigerian were writing bad things about oh she's a bad girl from canada she's just i don't know anybody in nigeria for them to say i'm a bad girl <laughs> you understand <Yes>. so <laughs> you understand even now that i'm not with this this person there are so many women that come into my um, uh, inbox every day. Oh, you are just a bad, you are bad, and God will punish you. Where do I know you from? You <laughs> spent all of his money when you were enjoying his money. Did you? Where do I? Where, where were you? Because I never met you a day in my life. I never seen you. 
So how do you know what I have what happened behind closed doors of that palace? Don't I will tell all of you guys, don't let this person fool you. He will never support your business. He will never, he doesn't have anything. So whatever you guys, you guys want to defend him. I don't <laughs> you, you you Maureen, do you understand what I'm saying? So many people have joined this Oluo's fight against me that they don't even know me from anywhere. All right, thank you guys for watching that video. Don't forget, hit the red subscribe button on the notification bell. Because yes, of course, I'll be giving you more uptrending uh, videos and information just you need to know worldwide. Thank you guys for staying by.